This is Iskiliath, and this is the Lego Iskiliath set. But wait, it's not an actual set, because Lego never made it. Therefore, I will be recreating Iskiliath in Lego, but in a special way, because I will build Iskiliath in one minute, ten minutes, and one hour. So it's gonna be tough, but totally worth it. Let's start this challenge. So for all of you who don't know Iskiliath, it's the city of Gondor, which you can see in both the two towers, where Frodo, Sam, and Gollum are captives of Faramir, and the return of the king, where the orcs cross the river, marking the epic entrance of Gothmog. Now for this challenge, I will only make use of my part collection. Before building, I had to grab all the parts we need, and luckily, I have my new sorting system, so I can easily grab all the parts I need. This will be helpful while doing challenges like these. So, I grabbed the parts, and now I'm ready to start building. For the first challenge, I must build Iskiliath in only one minute. So we're on the clock here, guys. So let's build. Okay, so let's build Iskiliath within one minute, and the time is gonna start running right now. The timer has started, and now it's time for building. I immediately grabbed some plates to lay a foundation for this build, and I also added some regular 1x3 and 4 bricks, as well as some slopes. So for the small build, I made a little foundation out of some plates and then added a brick wall on top. There are some slopes to decorate it, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this looks awful. Even so, this is the best I could come up with and build, so I'm kind of proud of it. I also added this epic Gondorian soldier minifigure, so the build looks a bit better. Next up is the 10 minute building challenge. For this one, I will be building something bigger and hopefully more detailed. Specifically, I want to recreate the scene where Faramir is running from the orcs and his company shoots them down. I thought it would be something iconic you guys like. This time, I will recreate a wall piece, but also add some pillars you could see within Iskiliath. Now let's start this challenge. Firstly, I wanted to build a wall piece as a base for the mock. I tried to add some corners and also wanted to add as much detail as possible, and when the wall was was at a good height, I moved on to building some pillars, which add a lot of detail. I also built a stone wall piece to go on top of the pillars, but made it so that it looks partially destroyed. Then all the way to the top of this section, I placed some jumper plates on the sides, so it looks like some decorations of the city when it was still intact. All of this already took me 8 minutes, so I had a little bit of time left. Let's finish this. For the final details, I have decided to add some piles of stones, so it looks like the walls have fallen apart. So here it is, my version of Iskiliath built within 10 minutes. Let me give you a tour. Unlike the previous build, this one is on a skill where I can set up multiple minifigures, and there's plenty of space for the archers to shoot down some orcs storming through. I also set up Faramir looking for cover from the incoming arrows. Now, let's take a look at the build. The wall piece in the back has some corners and a bit more detail. There are some slopes on top, and I also decided to experiment with using slopes on the inside of the wall to create some gaps as if the wall is broken. Additionally, there's this partially broken wall on the outside of the main structure, and I wanted to add this because without it, the build would look a little boring. The main doorway in front is packed with detail from different pieces. The pillars are made with some of these different cylinder bricks, and I also added this big piece on top to portray a doorway. The jumper plates are supposed to be some extra detail, and last but not least, there are some random bricks laying around. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this build looks, and I can't wait to see what I will build within the one hour challenge. For the next challenge, I will build a Skiliath in one hour, and I have a pretty good idea of what I want to build. There are multiple scenes I want to recreate on a single light blue gray base plate, so this will be interesting. Mainly, I will build the scene where the orcs enter the city by boats and get ambushed by the waiting soldiers of Gondor. I also want to create some other scenes, but I'll show you those later on in the video. I started by placing some bricks to lay out how I wanted the wall to be placed. There were going to be three doorways for the orcs to enter, and I immediately tried to pack as as much detail in the walls as possible by using 1x2 slopes to create those holes I spoke about earlier. I finished building the doorways and started working on the second floor. There's this scene where you can see a Gondor soldier get shot by an orc, so I also want to include this. I built an entire second wall on top of the floor and also made some windows with a ruined look to them. Then I got to work on the staircase, but suddenly this happened. 
All right, so my camera battery is dying and I'm quickly gonna replace it with a new one. It's five past 10 p.m. and it's Wednesday the 14th of December. So let's go and replace that battery. So I had to search for the battery, but it's now eight past 10 on the same day. So we're gonna continue building, let's build. I quickly finished building the staircase and continued working on some different buildings in the city. I wanted to make a building with an interior. So I tried to make it look like something which could still be used as a sort of armory. I added some crates and moved on to work on the water outside of the city. I only had around 17 minutes left to build, so we're on the clock here, guys. I finished off some edges and added a lot of random translucent blue pieces for the water. Then I continued working on the city by adding a lot of rubble. I decided to build some more pillars so the city would look diverse. For the last couple of minutes, I added as much final details as possible and time's up. So let's dive into what I've managed to build within one hour. Before I show you, I didn't add any plates because all my light bluish gray plates are being used in a different build. Now let's take a look at all the details. The main structure is the wall piece with two floors. The ground floor has three doorways, which are directly connected to the water. I also added some of these wedge plates to create a nice small staircase in the entrances to prevent the water from flowing into the city. The walls have some holes and the doorways are also detailed with some of these bricks, which have the studs on the side. Then there's the broken wall piece to the far right which looks pretty cool to me. The staircase leads to the upper part of this building and is detailed with various pieces. I tried to make the staircase look as good as possible with some cheese pieces as well as these 1x4 jumper plates with the two studs. There's some space underneath the stair so I can place some supplies for Gondor under there. The upper floor is also detailed with a small wall piece to prevent the soldiers from falling. And there's five windows of which two are partially destroyed. I personally thought this would look pretty realistic and it's also possible to set up minifigures firing arrows at the orc army. Moving on to the other building, it looks like a house which has lost its walls and a roof. I added some of these loose bricks to make it seem as if the building has collapsed. And on the inside, there are some crates with swords and there's even a table with some Gondorian soldiers who are preparing themselves for battle. To add extra detail, I also added this wall piece from the Lego Helm's Deep set. Finally, I built this section with some pillars with a campfire next to it where the soldiers can rest and look out for some orcs on their night watch. I think you can create some pretty cool scenes, so let me show you a little cinematic view of this entire mock. So these are all my recreations of Ascilioth in LEGO and I hope you enjoyed watching this challenge. Now if you want me to recreate any other locations in LEGO, let me know by leaving a comment. And the orcs who attack Ascilioth came from Minas Morgul, so if you want to see me recreate this epic location in LEGO, click the card on the screen and I will see you all in the next video.